Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run multiple regression model in Minitab software and then how you can uh, get variance inflation factor or VIF factor for each variable. VIF factors are used for uh, detecting multicollinearity in your uh, explanatory variable. So the data I'm going to use have 16 variables and these 16 variables is the woman hours worked and then there are 15 other explanatory or independent variable so i'm going to regress woman hours worked on 15 explanatory variables and these variables include a number of socioeconomic uh, variables associated to women these include the education of women um, uh, parents like mother education or father education or uh, the woman husband education or how many kids they have in household or their household income so the model i have is uh, shown here uh, in this variable uh, in this model i have women hours worked is uh, being regressed on age of the woman woman education year in year then woman experience in year then family income then father education then husband age husband education then husband hours work then husband uh, wage then uh, kids less than six years then kids between six and 18 years then wage uh, of the woman herself and then the mother education then the marginal tax rate uh, of the country in which the woman is working and finally the unemployment rate in that particular country and in the average term. so i'm going to estimate this model in uh, uh, mini tabs software uh, and then i'm going to uh, discuss uh, the, the output we did, uh, we get it so uh, first of all we have to take the data to mini tab and then uh, we have to uh, run the multiple regression model and the steps i'm going to follow will automatically ensure that we get VIA for various inflation factors with that as well. So let me switch to uh, mini tab software and let me take the data there. So this is the Excel sheet. I have all the data here. Uh, I'm going to select all the data for all the variables. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to take it uh, to the mini tab software. So I selected all the data on all the variable. Then I switch to mini tab. I'm going to paste it in cell 1 and it will automatically get pasted to all the uh, cells as it was in Excel. Then uh, I'm going to take the names of these variables because uh, the Minitab by default give them the name C1, C2, C3 as per their uh, column title. So I'm going to adjust my screen so that I can see the names and then I type it directly from the uh, Excel. So the first variable was hours. So it was typed as hours, then age, then uh, education, then experience, then uh, family income, uh, then uh, its uh, father education, uh, then uh, husband age, husband education, then husband hours worked per year then the husband wage then the kids uh, less than six year of old uh, then kids between six and 18 years in the family then the uh, wage of the woman mother education then the uh, marginal tax rate and finally the unemployment so all the 15 variables and the dependent variable has been added to mini tape so let me expand my air windows now uh, I'm going to do the multiple regression model from that. So for this, uh, uh, after adjusting my windows, so I go to the tab states, then uh, I select regression, then again the regression, and then in that I select the regression analysis, and then uh, in the dependent variable or the response variable is the first box. Here I will uh, click in the box, and then I will double click the hours, and I will take the variable. Similarly, I will click in the continuous box, and I then can double click on the names of each variable and can take it to that box of the continuous variables or the continuous predictors. After having that, I can select some of the outputs I want. I can uh, select whichever outputs I want or I can uncheck. For example, I don't want urban words and these statuses. So I will uncheck it when I click OK and then OK again. I get all the results. Now this 
uh, session window shows me the entire results of the uh, of the regression model which i uh, click uh, tick marked uh, in the result window uh, you can see here the model fit with your r adjusted r square values and then the and then uh, the uh, coefficients their uh, p values and then their vif values and you can see that vif values are uh, with 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 the different uh, different values and from the theory we uh, from the theory we know that uh, as shown here in the uh, in the table as well as the vif value increases it shows uh, the existence of stronger and stronger uh, correlation among the explanatory variable so the vif value here are uh, uh, given i arrange these vif values in the uh, descending order so that i can identify that which variable are strongly correlated thank you for your patience uh, if you like like this video please uh, subscribe our channel and if you uh, have any question feel free to email or uh, comment we will try to respond thank you